Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make the, the Mancala, Mancala game. game. Let's get into it. Now there's probably plenty of videos online of people making these Mancala boards out of like walnut or purple heart or something fancy. I am going to be making mine out of this old iron ring board that I found in the back of the shop. So, yep. I started by ripping the ironing board down on my table saw. Now you're going to want to make sure to cut two pieces the exact same size because we're going to sandwich them together. Once I had both pieces cut, I rounded off all the corners. Then after that, it was as simple as marking my measurements and start drilling holes. I used an inch and a half Forstner bit to drill all the holes. There are plenty of free templates online for Mancala boards, but I want to make mine a little bit larger than normal because I want to use some playing pieces that are a little bit larger. For the playing pieces, I just bought a bag of decorative rocks from a local store. You can get these anywhere from a local craft store or even Walmart. Once all the holes were drilled, I just used a round over bit in my router to round over all the edges of all the holes. Make sure that when you're rounding over the holes, you're only rounding over the holes on one side because the other side is going to be sandwiched to our bottom piece, so we don't want those edges rounded over. second and third century where the first evidence was found. They even found pieces of it in the seventh century and documented literature of it in the 14th century. The name Minkala actually comes from an Arabic word which means to move, so it actually applied to multiple games and wasn't originally just for one particular game. Once the glue was dry, I just used my router to round off the edges of the bottom of the game board. For this particular Moncala board, I'm going to make it a little bit wider in the center because I'm going to split it in half to make room for a hinge. Once I had it sanded down, we put on a coat of stain and a couple coats of polyurethane. some earth magnets in the corners to hold the game shut. Alright, our Mancala game is done. It came out pretty nice. Uh, I like the really dark color and I like the fact that it folds up. I also made a second version. This one I just made out of a couple sheets of plywood and uh, I made it to be kind of contrasting because I like that one is dark and one is light. Here are the game pieces that I was talking about. They're just simple little bags of stones that you can get at Walmart, Target, uh, usually in the craft section around the artificial flowers and they work really well as game pieces, just something super unique. Altogether, this was a really quick and easy project. It took around an hour to make this, not including the dry time, and it makes a great gift or a great game to play with the family over this holiday season. 
Dude, can I play? Well, I'm kind of in the middle of something. But bro, it's Christmas. All right, all right, sit down. All right. That's fine. Yeah. Give me just one second. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have lots of other projects on our channel, so make sure to go there, check those it's out, good. subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments oh, yeah. below. Thank you very much for Better watching. Be, be safe and be have a great day. Please. All right, let's do this. Thank you.